Hey guys, this is Martin and welcome to a new mini series. So in this mini series, I'm going to show you some tricks and tips around Burp Suite. Uh, I have been asked um, in the comments on YouTube and also with private messages um, to show certain features and certain tricks which I use on a daily basis when I'm doing penetration testing and bug bounty and things like that. And today I want to show you like a nice little feature. So all of these videos we are doing is, are fairly small and then I will do a new video for the next feature and, and, and so forth, right? So what I'm gonna show you today is very, very useful. So if you go to proxy and then proxy settings in Burp, and if you scroll down here, you basically see something response modification rules, right? So what I like to do is I like to check those two boxes. Like the first is unhide hidden form fields and the second one is prominently highlight unhidden fields. So what this does do is very often you have forms, right? Like a contact form or sign up form or login form or whatever. And um, these are not shown, you, you can see this in Burp, right? Like in, in the proxy history and stuff, but they are not shown on the actual web browser. So what I like to do is I like, first of all, to show these fields in the browser when I when I browse the website. And then secondly, I also want to highlight them. Like it puts like a nice little red um, rectangle around it. And I find this extremely useful. And I will show you this in, in practice in, ju in just a minute. Um, also, what is, what is useful and where I had a lot of success in the past is enable disabled form fields. So sometimes you have form fields which are grayed out, right? Like, so um, you need to upload a picture and then once you uploaded it, the form field is turning green, for example, that you can click next, right? But sometimes it's a simple disabled flag in there. And if you remove that disabled flag, then you can, you might be able to submit a form or, or do something which you're not supposed to do. So that's, that's a classical problem when the developers do just client side control, right? Like, so it's not server side checked, it's client side control and those are easily bypassable, right? The same goes like for limitation in terms of length. So if you have like a username password field and then, you know, um, sometimes you have a limitation like in the GUI, right? Like, so you can only put 20 characters in and it will not take more than 20 characters and stuff like that. And then, I had interesting um, uh, experiences around this, um, when, whereby you basically remove the, the length limits they have set client side, and then all of a sudden you can put a hundred characters in, right? And then it's interesting to see, does the application actually accept it? Like, does it accept an email address with like a hundred characters at gmail.com or something, right? And um, oftentimes it does, it's quite funny. And this is obviously a bug, right? Like, because, it, this could end in a denial of service condition or something. And, but let's, let's go back to the, to the actual topic of this little video, um, the unhide hidden form fields. So if we go over to um, Web Security Academy from, from Burp, from Portsrigger, if we go to my account, for example, right, then you will see something, this, you will basically see hidden field CSRF and then you will see the CSRF token. So normally you would not see this, right? Like, so let's just make this test. Like, let me just um, untick this and refresh fresh the page. And then basically you don't see this, you just see a login, right? And then you would manually need to go in into the source code or into, into Burp and then see like, hey, is there actually a CSRF token? So when I enable this, I, I immediately see that, hey, there's a CSRF token um, or any other hidden field, right? Like there's sometimes it's interesting hidden fields, sometimes it's redirect URLs and things like that. It makes your life a lot easier as you browse around, right? Like for example, if you log in here and we say Wiener Peter or default username and password and you can see if I change my email address, there's another CSRF token, right? And and then an, an interesting test you can do is like refresh it and see if this if this um, refresh token is, is or, or if this CSRF token is actually staying the same, right? So this is also something I like to test. So update, boom. So now I've used it and it is still the same if I'm not mistaken. So let's just try this again. 
VV, it starts with VV. So it's a static token. So that's another vulnerability in itself. Like it should change on, on, on every request, right? But um, a key point really for, for this lecture is, is this. And what you can do here is you can inspect that element and then you will see like, hey, how does this actually look like in, in the source code, right? And let's just go here again. Okay, let's go there. Let's do inspect and here you see it hidden fields ESRF right and this is what the what this feature is already showing you yeah you could find all this out right like manually grabbing for it or like like filtering around and stuff but this makes it easier because it shows you and especially from a from a from a pen tester bug bounty hunter perspective it shows you what's going on right away so I find this extremely useful I hope you find this useful as well and I see you in the next video